I'm Dr. Bruce Spinowitz, Associate Director of Nephrology at New York Presbyterian Queens. On October 26th, the FDA convened yet another advisory committee to evaluate, in this instance, the data surrounding GSK's deprotostat. Despite the fact that there were five studies, two very large studies, the main studies which explored uh, the notion of non-inferiority of deprotostat in comparison to darbipoetin with respect to efficacy, namely maintaining or achieving appropriate hemoglobin level, in addition to evaluating non-inferiority for safety, in this case, MACE events, that is to say all-cause mortality, non-fatal MI, non-fatal stroke. In both of those studies, both in the non-dialysis population as well as in the dialysis population, GSK met their primary endpoints. The decision or the advice of the advisory committee uh, was a split decision with respect to the evaluation of whether the benefits of deprotostat exceed the risks in the non-dialysis CKD population, the vote was against. That is to say, the benefits did not outweigh those risks. With respect to the dialysis population, however, the committee did advise for approval. That is to say that the benefits of deprotostat did outweigh the risks. How the FDA will react in terms of approval of this new drug uh, will re remains to be seen. But this was a significant improvement over the previous advisory committee meetings that evaluated two other possibilities within this new class of compounds for treatment of anemia, where the committee advised against approval, both, respect, both with respect to the non-dialysis as well as the dialysis population. So my expectation as a nephrologist that finally, uh, in the U United States, we will have a HIF pearl hydroxylase inhibitor available to us even if it's only in the dialysis population. And hopefully going forward, G G GSK or perhaps one of the other sponsors of evaluation of this new class of compounds will do the studies necessary to satisfy the FDA requirements in the arena of the non-dialysis patient population. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and check back regularly.